Okay, here's the TR4CW. Uh, once again, I want to show you real quick how I uh, do the carrier oscillator adjustment on this thing. And I think it's pretty close. But uh, anyway, quick uh, tour of the rig here. You can see the uh, hayseed ham fist uh, can that I put in. And the rest of it is uh, pretty doggone clean looking, I would say. Okay, so carrier oscillator is back here. Let me get this probe out of here. That little trimmer adjustment right there, C130, is what sets the carrier oscillator to somewhere around 9 megahertz, depending on what kind of shape these filters are in. Upper and lower sideband filter, and the CW filter is tucked away underneath. Okay, so here's how I do it. I run a, a cable from the speaker over to the uh, laptop here and I've got some software running on there called Spectrogram. It's a free download. I have the uh, noise generator plugged in and I don't know if you can see real closely but the two vertical markers are at 300 and 2400 hertz. These filters have uh, a specification of a 2100 hertz bandpass between the six dB points. So that would put it at uh, 300 and 2400. Anyway, you can see um, we're listening through the lower sideband filter right now. And it's, uh, it does roll off a little bit towards the high end. And uh, it's a little weak here at the 300 hertz mark. But basically, not bad for a rig this old. I'll switch to the upper side band filter. And it's uh, just about the same. It does have a little more high frequency maybe. Extending out a little further. So that's upper sideband, and that's lower sideband. And there's your CW filter, which is centered, it looks like, somewhere around 800 hertz, maybe 750. But uh, that's pretty good. So anyway, it's an audio spectrum analyzer. I just tap into the audio line and I use a wideband noise generator to give me a response that kind of mirrors. I mean, there's audio processing involved and a bunch of other stuff, but I think it gives a pretty good representation of what's happening at the IF doing it this way. And I'll just show you real quick what happens as I adjust C130 back there. Alright, this is the uh, upper sideband filter. Now I'm going to adjust that trimmer. And see how the whole thing shifts and hear the change in uh, background noise. Now if I leave it there and I go to the opposite sideband filter, that's what happens. So you want to try to find a balance point between the two. If I can. There we go. That's pretty close. 
slight little change in the background noise mainly because we're shifting the low end as I go from one side band to the other but the response remains pretty even for both filters and if I go back to CW we got a pretty good looking CW filter there so anyway that's the easy way to set C130 without a lot of test equipment or screwing around you can set it for 9 megahertz dead nuts right on the money using a, a frequency counter or a scope but that's not always going to give you the best balance between these two filters so uh, it's best to use another method anyway that's the TR4 CW with RIT one fine bit and there's the noise generator which goes right into the back and this one like I say is in uh, really good shape anyway I'm gonna hook up a mic to it another couple different mics and try it and uh, make a couple CW contacts and uh, I think it'll be good to go so there you go one of my favorites TR4 CW keep on tinkering see ya